presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, tarlez -vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's yeah, good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We uh, appreciate your growling question. problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the gold report and all the softwares and all your books and read a generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank uh, you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, March 1st, March 10th, folks, is when the clocks spring forward. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Excuse me, folks. I had too many peanuts before I got on. <laughs> Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you, have, you are learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial trading up 57, NASDAQ up 179, SP's up 38. Gold, gold contract up $38.40, trading at 2,093 an ounce. We had silver up 50 cents, $23.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 69, $79.95 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 18 ticks, trading 111 flat. 30 year up 25 at 120.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 264 ticks, trading at 103.891. Euro's 108. Yen's at 150, British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you're going to new highs. You're in the middle of winter. Well, you're not even in the middle of winter dressing, you're at the beginning of winter dressing, okay? You had that consumer confidence come out this morning, and that was weak. So bad news is good news for the market. <laughs> it seems like it's whatever kind of news has been good news for the market, folks. But the bottom line is that uh, consumer confidence went down the first time in three months, and that exploded the market topside. So yesterday, yeah, check this out yesterday. This is, I'm going to do this first because this is pretty wild. We were watching the volume come in, and we knew that it came in at the close. But what do you see the volume that came in? It's pretty amazing. So on the NYSE, right, we did 1.8 billion shares. That's like amazing, folks, okay? We were, we were doing, so someone came in like with a billion shares at the end, okay? You talk about window dressing. And then in the NASDAQ, what happened, we're in the 6.5, I think. 6.428. Did it in both of them, which is just amazing, man. So, you know, you go higher, you get an expansion of volume, guess what, man? Higher you go. We can take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs out here? Qs are up uh, seven and a half, six and a half dollars, and they got price spread, man. You know this. This is this is this not this is not only broke topside. This broke topside with some juice behind it. So higher we go. We go take a look at the uh, note market, and it's all going. The only thing that hasn't been going with the market yet, and watch, we'll see it go next week, is the dollar. You know the note and bond market. This is you know that's the end of that correction. Bottom line is that we got the 10-year up 18 ticks, 2.3 million contracts, and this has wide price spread too. Now this is like this is gonna get interesting. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, it's close. It has. It, we need like another day like this to break the downtrend from the top. It's right at the line now. If you're watching Tiger TV, you can see it. And I discounted the that spike that got up there for two days, but you, you're right at right at the line. Gold, gold's on its way. And we'll see how it reacts when we get up to the 2150, 2200 mark. Right now, it's good action, man. You know, right now, you have the aspect that you have broken the downtrend. And that would be saying that gold's on its way to, what, that's 2100? Yeah. 
2074, actually. No, it's, no, it's 2174. Yeah, 20, we're at 2092 right now. Uh, we go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. It, it's in the whole market. Uh, take a look at the GDX. That's, we've, we've done 32 million shares. You're up uh, 87 cents. And when you take a look at this, this is what, see, it's just not one move like we're talking about here. What it is is that what we already did is that we already tested the strength. We did it with lighter volume. And then you get accelerate up. And that's what you want to see, folks, okay? So we've been in this large consolidation. We've been in this consolidation for almost, what is this? Let's see, this is a weekly, let's say half a year. But that's on the smaller basis. If I put this on a larger basis on a monthly, you can see that we've been in this consolidation for, yeah, this, the lower consolidation, the same thing. Half, well, one, two, no, that's, that's almost two years. That's almost two years. So if we get some follow through here, um, we're going to really have some big action. And the dollar. We go over to this dollar. We take a look at this dollar. What you have with the dollar is that you still haven't broken into the lower range. So we take a look at this. See, there's bent up demand inside the gold market. That's what you have happening here because this hasn't broken into the lower range yet. We were lower yesterday and there was no juice, but we get action happening. You know, the lower range inside the dollar is 103, approximately 500 area. And we've hit 103, 800. <clears throat> and at that particular point, it just stopped on its tracks. We go take a look at the, well, they're all going to have volume. XAU. We don't get the volume for the XAU and the HUI until tonight. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, look at that price spread, man. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, the whole downtrend is broken. And this is how you have to break a downtrend or an uptrend it, 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 if you're going to get follow through. It's wide price spread, accelerated volume. And let's go to the gold bugs index. It's going to look the same way. Yep. Same deal. And, you know, it, it's inter what's interesting here, the steepness of the fall and the XAU and the HUI did make this easier. But the bottom line is, is that whether it's easy or not easy, you, had the wide, you have the wide price spread and the accelerated volume. And when you know it's so interesting, folks, Newmont was the biggest dog out there. It still is, actually. But Newmont did come off its lows yesterday. You know, it gapped higher yesterday. And let's go put this back. Let me look at this thing for a second. Put it, I'll put it on a monthly. It was coming down with lighter volume. But, man, this thing was getting wrecked. Well, it did get wrecked. Now it was getting wrecked. Yeah, but look at that, man. This is crazy when you see this. Look at what it did. Unreal. I'm telling you, volume is where it's at, folks. It's like sick. You see what I just did there, that line? Look at that volume. Came right into that volume. It's lighter volume. It rejected lower price. And guess what? Now we go higher. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Dow, Dow Industrials up 57, Nasdaq up 180, S&P's up 39. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the market with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 59. Nasdaq's up 173. S&Ps are up 38. Let's go take a look and see if we got action in the TLT, too, because I suspect we did. Yep. Well, we're going to need more volume in the TLT. So the TLT rejected $93 out here today. You trade 94.44. You know, we had good volume yesterday. Let me see what this looks like on a weekly. Oh, it's nice on a weekly. Look at this. Yep. Okay. We get action, man. Yep. We sure do. Okay. So it's going to go for the swing again. Now, this one's going to really going to get interesting because this could be an ABC structure on the way up. And if it is, we got 100. Is that? Oh, it's a beauty. Okay. So it's an 18. 18 point, which is, uh, what is that, 90? Oh my God, 93. So you're talking about, about 110 when it gets up to that B point. Now, the B point on this is going to be easy to take out. So you're going to use a couple days prior to that because when it drops out, two days prior to that, there's so much volume. That's the one I'm going to use. We'll see what ends up happening when it gets up there. So when you're doing ABC structures, folks, okay, if you see something like this, or you're watching Tiger TV, now I get this on a weekly, okay, but when you see something like a drop off like this and the price is very close to the same, you got to use the higher volume, you know, if, if you want to stay conservative on an ABC structure on the way up. Let's put it that way. All the way down in both cases. But, uh, you know, it looks to me like no bond market. Let's go to the 30 year and let's take a look. at It's off to the races again. As it should be. We're almost halfway through the year. You know, so the bottom line is. 30 year, yeah, the 30 year has juice in it today, too. The 30 year has 489,000 contracts. Yeah, that's going up. Let's go take a look at Qualcomm for a couple of the tigers out here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. The low is 101, the high is 164. You're trading at the high. The high was today. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's, this is probably an ABC up, too. This, this is going to be a... Folks, if this is another ABC up market, it's going to be unbelievable, man. And, and let me tell you something. The, from 1994 to basically until the market crashed in you know, 2000, or right before or prior to it, actually, um, 
It was an ABC up market. Just, it just never stopped. Okay, so we got 45 and you got 32. So on a weekly, it's not an ABC up. Put this back a bit. Oh, I see what's just happening here. Okay, so it's not at its highs. It's, high, it's at its highs for this year. Yeah. Well, you own this, I'd stay right where you are, man. You know? Because this is a good this is a good break out here today. You're gonna catch flack at on the monthly. Let's put this back here. See, but there's not whoops. Yeah, it's already getting into these bars, man. This wants to go to the high. I just hang right there, man. It looks to me like uh, you get action. And sorry about this, folks, one second. And more than likely, you're going to get some follow through here. Let me see the next time they come out with numbers. So they come out May 3rd. May 3rd, they're going to be looking to do $9.3 billion and $2.31. So, so their, their bottom line's going to go down. Top line's, yeah, top line's going to go down, too. Now, what's intriguing out here today is that on my screen, I mean, most of, the, most of the stocks on the screen, I have a gold, but I do have Apple on there. Apple can't get traction, man. That's saying quite a bit, you know. And listen, there's plenty of stocks to take over Apple, that's for sure, meaning to drive the market higher. But it looks to me like Apple better either buy someone or get something going. Because when you actually look at the volume in Apple, Apple could, is it one, yeah, 132. No, 122. 122 is the last time it had any, let me get this straight. 127. I'm going to have to do something about this. Jesus. Excuse me. No, it's one. It's one thirty-seven. Sorry, folks. Okay, one thirty-seven is the last time that had volume. So, when you see something like that, that's where it wants to go. And unless there's going to be some heavy news on Apple or something that's happening out here, you know, I mean, Apple's been an extraordinary run. There's no two ways about that. Um, but the way that's set up right there doesn't look great to me. We go take a look at the copper market HG. You're up two pennies right now. Yeah, 405 still coming at us. We look at, uh, whoops, Southern copper. It's flat. TGB. That's flat. Let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so this almost looks, TGB almost looks just like the gold market before it broke topside right now. This is a nice consolidation, man. We had volume. Let's see this thing. Yep, we had volume. Oh, Monday. That's a good sign, man. This thing's going to break topside, man. Yeah. You're 150. What is that top one? The top one's 190. That's where this thing wants to go, which won't be hard because if copper's going to that 405 number. And more than likely, what we're going to see here, this is, <laughs> this is where some of these rotations are crazy, meaning in the note, commodity, dollar okay because if that dollar croaks i know this market's extended folks and people are going out of their mind but i'm telling you if you were ever around you know before the market exploded okay in 2000 this market went from 1994 
Well, here, I'll tell, I'll, I've told these stories before, but I want to tell them when we come back. Because 1994 till really 2000, you had like maybe three corrections. One in 96, of course, the one in 98. And the one in 96 was small, but what ended up happening is that because it was a straight line move for so long, what had happened is that people got hurt because the leverage was way too high. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's up 81, Nasdaq's up 182, S&P's are up 40. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up 87, NASDAQ up 186, S&P's up 41. And uh, the, check this out, okay? So... He got away the first time. The second time is Bob Mendez. Okay, he's a senator from uh, New Jersey. He's not getting away this time, folks. So this just happened today. The guy, so Mendez, his wife, and this other guy got indicted. But the guy that got indicted with him, he's going to, he's, he's spilling the beans today. He, he already did at, in court. Uh, Jose Utribe, who appeared Friday at federal court in New York, admitted bribing Mendez and his wife, Nadine, 
for the Senate's help to resolve an indictment of an associate and related investigation. Uh, let's see what he gave him. He gave him a Mercedes. Let's see. Is that right? One second. Hold on. No. No, no. 800 grand. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, he was indicted in September. Yeah, it's 800 grand. 800 grand, 13. Well, we'll see what he has to say. But the bottom line is that uh, he did, he did uh, get away the first time. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these politicians, they, they just don't stop. And they live in their own world. And uh, the bottom line is that they think they're untouchable until they're not. And then it's curtains. Let's go to Ray in Sarasota. Hey, Ray, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. I, I need your uh, take on Vista Gold. It's uh, up today right now about 16%. And uh, what do you think is going to happen here? So let's take a look at it. So Vista, you own it, right? I do. Yeah. So Vista Gold, folks, okay, you know, You've heard the ads. I own it. I have owned it for a while. Um, I'm a real believer in it, period. Okay. You could fundamentally, okay. Technically, right now, you know, we'll, we'll see where it should. Technically, it's set up right, too. It's a, this, is, this is also a real personality stock, okay. I've followed the stock, uh, oh my God, I think it's 18 years now. It's some crazy number because I had met one of their first CEOs when we were first doing a gold show. Well, actually, it's longer than that because I've had the gold report for 22 years. Anyway, to make a long story short, they have the permits. And what it, what it does take, uh, Ray, is when the gold contract moves like this, okay, this equity takes off like a rocket ship. And my feeling is this, and I, and I told, uh, bottom line, I told Fred, the CEO of Vista, that so what happens, folks, is this. All of these equities have market makers that are the primary market maker. And as far as I'm concerned, the primary market maker in Vista has been just making a fortune forever. And he holds the stock down until he can't. You know, because when you do the numbers on it, okay, it's pretty incredible. If you just do one penny times the amount, and you, you know, Ray, you know what's crazy about this? I did this calculation yesterday. <laughs> so this is just pretty funny how this works, okay? The last time I talked to Fred, I talked to him over a year ago, and I said, I'm telling you, man, this, you know, and I have no proof that the guy's holding the stock down. That's the other side of it, okay? But to make a long story short is this. Yesterday I decided, you know what? I, I said, I got to do these numbers so that I can see on a spread, just on a spread, folks, okay, meaning the spread, the bid, and the offer, what you can make per day if you can hold the stock down. And the least amount I came up with, Ray, right, was 10000 bucks a day with zero risk. And I started thinking about it. I says, that's not bad, right? You know, you make $2.4 million on one stock. And I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about a half a penny to a penny now, okay? Okay, so now let's just talk about the stock. So as gold moves, you will see this explode. That's what, that's what happens with Vista. And, that, and that's one of my main reasons that I'm saying to myself, you know what, he's holding that down because it doesn't move with the rest of them, but when it moves, it moves exponentially, you know, yeah. because he's caught. You I see what I'm, he's caught on the other side. And he's got he's to close, close, close. So, you well, know, right you know, now, I think the, the next move is, from... the next swing is here. I think it's 79, then it's a buck 20. Is it a buck 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 75 and a buck 20. You know, and we we'll get a good start today. I think yesterday they got a payment from Wheaton for six million. They did seven million. Yep, and then they're going to get an additional one, um, and it was another three months now, I believe. So they're off to the races, man. I mean, I think I think this is you know you have some patience with the stock. I think this is going to be a big grand slam, man. You know that that the mind that they have. Let's put it this way. You and I, folks, okay, no matter how much work that we do, you know, we're still not going to know what a wheat and precious metal, 
wheat and precious metals does. So for wheat and to give them that kind of bread, and the security on that kind of bread, you know, is the gold after it comes out of the ground. So as far as I read the whole deal, so as far as wheat is concerned, they're going to get this mine open. And if they get this mine open, man, watch out because it's one of the biggest mines in Australia. I think it's the third largest mine in Australia. So price goes up a little bit more. We're going to see a lot of action, man. Do you have any thoughts on the timeline for opening such a mine? It's not long. This is what they're doing right now. They're just looking. They can open this mine in a second if they can get a partner that's going to come up with like 300 to 400 million. That's what I suspect. And I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll give Fred an email Monday morning. I'll get him on again and ask him specifically how much. I think it's 300 million he needs, which is nothing. That's nothing in the gold business. Because remember the last time he was on, what they did is this. They had a, a much bigger mine. And then they, because of the way that the, well, first off, the gold market has been terrible. And the interest rate structure was higher. So they couldn't get someone to come up with, you know, a couple billion. So they brought it down to 300 million with the aspect that, okay, you can start the mine, you can get it going, and then you can expand it from there. So they're still looking for a partner. So they have all the licenses. They don't need one more license. They just need the money to open the mine. You know, and mm -hmm. if we see gold, we, we, if we see gold go three or four more days like this, guess what? You're going to have someone that's going to mm -hmm. step up. Well, it's probably if gold breaks the 2250. Because we've been in that consolidation for so long, Ray. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You, you know, know, just while we've been on the phone, it went up another penny and a half. Now it's up a little over 20% for the day. Yeah. Now, this is how it trades, man. You'll see, you'll see this thing goes up. This thing, well, 20 cents in a day, man. Once, once, once you catch the person on the other side, you know, forget it, man. Because it, it, it makes zero sense to me that this is only 41 cents. Because the bottom line is they have no debt. They got now they're going to have what twenty million in their pocket, and the, and the market cap is only forty nine million. It's like really okay, so you know, and it's like yeah. So thanks, thanks for your input. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. And folks, if you haven't got the gold report, go get it right now, man. I'm telling you, just get it because if this is the run, if this is ever the run that Tim Wood's talking about in two thousand, you're going to buy in a house. I bought plenty of them. Trust me. <laughs> oh, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Oh, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 85, Nasdaq's up 174, S&Ps are up 40. And the question is, do I think it's going to run into the close? And I don't. Let me show you why, okay? So we take a look at it. In fact, I think it's going to sell off a bit. So if we take a look at this S&P, yesterday we had the good run, but I was showing you the high, it was a high volume high. That's why that run was there. Now, you can see what's happening here. Hold it. I got to do, I get this thing in front of me. Oh, beautiful. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see we don't have any volume up here, man. And what we do have, not in, on the SPY, okay? I mean, we're on the S&P right now. So it's... It's telling me that, no, he's going to sell off a little, not go for a high. And this is why, because if I go to the NQs, now watch this. You go to the NQs, and I'm not looking for anything heavy on the way down. I'm just, I'm, I'm answering the question about is it going to run to the highs. So when you look at the NQs, see this bar? The bar has come off the high, that has volume in it. That's the highest volume bar, actually, that we've had since, uh, <laughs> look at this, since this morning. This is, this is the, listen, you know what's so crazy, folks? Thank God I've been bullish for a long time now because I'm telling you something, man. I would have got killed on this run right here, meaning even today. Because see this intraday today? Intraday today, this thing went all the way up from 10 o'clock this morning with no volume. Yeah, that wouldn't have been cool. So always remember you want to, you want to think what the bigger picture is the medium picture, then the smaller picture. So we'll see where it shakes out coming into the close, but my take is that uh, that is not going to go to higher price. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Hey, Costa, new wants moving, finally. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Real good here in Boston. Tell me, I bought it at 33 and a third. Is what? this the bottom in here, or are we going higher? Yeah, we're what going higher. Stay, stay, right, stay right there. This bottomed out okay. at 29.42. The high is 52 for the year. You know, it finally got juice yesterday. You know, a gap tie. You can see how that gap tie yesterday. And then if we bring this back, I'm going to show you. I just did this. We bring this back. What you're going to see, you got to bring it back quite a way, but it came back to strength and it rejected it here. Watch this. This is crazy, man, that this came all the way back to this point. But you can see right there, that's where I had monster volume right there on a monthly. And we had lighter volume on the monthly here. On the monthly, that was 382 million. That's going back to 2021. No, no. 2020. Okay. That bar is 2020 that I have on. And we did 275 versus 382. So it's 100 million less. So now you get action. You know, it's going to take a bit. I can, you know, tell you that. But the bottom line, you do have action. Now, do you own any other gold stocks? No, just new one. Okay. You should take a look at some of them because some of these are powerhouses, man. You know, I understand Newmont. It's the biggest one out there, but um, 
Yeah. The good news is that it's moving forward, Costa. We got okay. some action. What? One more question. Yes. Goes up forty dollars. Why is that, Tom? I know, and I agree. I, you know, uh, it's really unusual because if we go look at the dollar, the dollar has not croaked. So the bottom line is that you know we finally have buyers in it, and what this could be, you know, this is window dressing, the beginning of it, and it's real possible that. You know, a lot of these funds are saying, hey, all these things are at highs. I'm going to get in the gold market. You know, folks, I do this uh, hit for TD Ameritrade. Well, now it's a Schwab network. So I'm on there about once a week, and I have to pick three stocks and all of this that I think are going to move. And this week when I was doing it, you know, um, what did I pick? I picked, yeah, I picked Exxon, Marbell. And Anico, uh, no, uh, Anglo Gold. And I was telling, you know, the host, uh, which is Nicole Petalini's, I says, listen, I picked these because everything else is so high, you know, that at least people would have a shot on, you know, doing something. So that's what we might have, Costa. You know what I mean? That there's, there's big money that comes in always at the, you know, first of the month, the end of the month. And we might have funds that have decided that, hey, listen, the market's so high, gold's probably ready to go, the interest rate structure is ready to go down. And if the interest rate structure, see, what's really intriguing here in the gold market is this, is that gold has got hurt, but not so much as when we have interest rates at 5% on the 10-year. So as the 10-year backs down, you'll get huge accelerations in all commodities because the dollar will croak. Not, not croak, but the dollar is going to pull back, you know, because of the fact that if we're the first ones, we were the first ones basically for, you know, not for first world countries that went up on the rate structure. So if we're the first ones that start going down on the rate structure, that's going to affect the dollar. The dollar affects the market. The dollar affects commodities and gold in particular in a big way. So. Okay, Tommy. We'll look for Thank some follow-through Monday or Tuesday. That's that's what we really need here, Costa, too, and all the folks that are in that metal market. We what, ha what tends to happen is this: one day of strength is great, wide price spread, accelerated volume. Two days is better, right? <laughs> and so when you get follow-through like that, it changes the dynamic in a monster way, man. So. Very well, good, and hey, listen, did, did the spring sprung yet in Boston? Getting there? Oh, it's about 50 degrees. Beautiful. Okay. 50s, 50, you get your shots on up there, man. <laughs> yes. I like Take it. Care, Tom. Well, listen, man, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Uh, you know, talk to you next week, maybe. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. So it, it's so intriguing, folks, okay, that the, that, was a, that was a dynamite question that caused it. Why did it go up? And listen, they're buying it, you know, but it is intriguing because the dollar didn't croak. You know, the interest rate, uh, the 10 year is going up. So I, I suspect if we can get more in the 10 year next week, one more day with 17 ticks on the 10 year next week, dollar will croak. Because if the, do the dollar has held so dramatically in this high range, and when you have things that, when you have equities or currencies or commodities that hold in a higher range, and then it tries to get into a lower range, and has been trying for weeks and it doesn't get in there and then all of a sudden it does the selling accelerates beyond belief folks because once it breaks everyone knows it it just broke boom and then the re the, the trades reverse that's the bottom line and if you you know you talk about something listen to this the tmf now we own this i own this right now Okay, um, and the TMF, listen to this. So that has $4.8 billion market cap. This is the 300% treasury. Did you hear, hear that? $4.83 billion. That's how many bets are on that were on the other side of this range. You know, interest rate structure. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up uh, 86, NASDAQ up 175, S&P's up 40. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 99, Nasdaq's up 179, S&Ps are up 42. So let's take a look at the, the ETF structures first. Inside the SPY, yeah, 55 million. Last swing outside of yesterday was 62. So you got to go on high with line of volume again. That being said, though, if you're going to shot this market, I'd wait for a few more days. The reason being is that the window dress in a, a couple days, folks, okay? Um, they're just buying in, you know? And, and this is on a continual basis. That's something you always got to remember, meaning that if you shot the market, you really don't want to shot it at the end of the month and the beginning of the month. Because the bottom line, that money comes in, and if the money doesn't get put to work, the, uh, what do you call them, brokers, right? Uh, financial advisors don't get paid. It's, that's, that's how it goes. So if they, if they keep it in cash, they don't get paid. They put it in the market, they get paid. Uh, we take a look at the queues. I like the wide price spread in the queues. The, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is a big number. This is, there's some good wide price spread in the queues. So it looks to me like the queues, <sighs> at least for a couple more days, they want to run, you know? When we're going uh, through the markets with Tim Ward yesterday, you know, there's no doubt. Uh, if you didn't check out that show, remember it's archived, folks, because what he did show is that that S&P on a monthly basis, okay? Well, here, let me put it up right now so you can see it. 
because it's so far over the Bollinger Band, and it's on a monthly when you see this. You know, this is just statistics, pure out statistics. Whoops, no. Okay, so you're gonna see this. Yesterday was sticking out all the way above it. That's gonna come back underneath it, man, you know? So that's, that's saying that March, you know, should back off. About time maybe, right? Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens and prosperity. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Wendy morning, 9 a.m. We'll get him, folks.